one in 451 million 228 thousand 158 that's your odds of winning the one million dollars mcdonald's monopoly one in 20 million that's your odds of becoming a saint one in 340,733. That's your odds of getting blown up by fireworks. One in 10,000. That's your odds of getting injured by a toilet. One in 500. That's your odds of being born with 11 fingers. Weird. In this gospel of Thanksgiving, we hear from uh, the gospel writer Luke, St. Luke. And St. Luke is recounting a story where there were 10 men who came to see Jesus to be healed. They were lepers, outcasts from society, literally tossed out of the city and left in a colony by themselves to rot. Their flesh was falling off. There was no cure for this disease. It was considered highly contagious and they were considered unclean. And so their lives were basically over. And so these 10 men came to see Jesus and they were all asking to be healed. And Jesus in his generosity, this is how good he is. He heals all 10 of them and all 10 of them go away. They're, they're all healed they disappear but one of them turns around and comes back to Jesus and says thank you and gives worship to him and Jesus says weren't there 10 of you like where'd the other nine go and this guy is just grateful not just for the gift but for the giver of the gift he was grateful for Jesus as his Lord this is the hard part of what we face maybe on a daily basis is standing out and being the odd one out. We face being maybe ostracized by friends for taking a stand, or maybe we face uh, a situation where we've got to make a decision where everybody else is going one direction and we know that the right thing to do is to go the other direction. And so not only is this an opportunity to give thanks today for all of the great gifts and blessings in our life. I mean, my goodness, have a look around. We are one of the most blessed societies on the face of the planet. Maybe you're not facing blessings right now. Maybe you're facing hardship and it's difficult for you to see where God's working and maybe you have no idea what blessing looks like because your life has been difficult. And so it's an opportunity to turn back around and say to Jesus, I am thankful for you as the Lord of the world, the universe, my own personal friend, I'm thankful for you and not necessarily for the gifts that you're going to give me. That would be a very odd thing to do, but it would be a very good thing to do to give Jesus our gratitude in spite of maybe a lack of blessing. But we have to face the fact we are immensely blessed and it would be the odd person who would turn around and then bring that blessing back to God, say thank you for it, and then turn it into blessing for others. And so do an odd thing this Thanksgiving. Not only give thanks for all of the great things in our life, thank God for being God and for showing up for you and me. And then turn around and give that generosity, that same generosity that Jesus showed to the 10 lepers. Bring that to the people around you who are maybe missing out on blessing. Bring that to the people around you who are in hardship. Do something extra. Stand out from the crowd. Be the odd one out. And I wish all of you guys a most blessed Thanksgiving with family and friends. And I am very grateful for all of you.